Hey fellow explorers, welcome to Explore Snore, where I read you a bedtime story to help you fall asleep. Tonight's story, I Wonder If Herbie's Home Yet, by Mildred Kamchowitz. When I was a little boy, this actually was my favorite story of all time. I'm not sure why, I just love, I think I love the illustration, it's so cool. Look at that little boy, he's riding a, uh, it's called a, a banana seat bike with a high back, back on it. Oh, pretty awesome. But anyway, I just, I just love this book. I'm not sure why, but I did. But anyway, I'm going to read it to you tonight. There's the title page. I wonder if Herbie's home yet. And here's the first page. Let's start reading. Hello, Mr. Franklin. This is Smokey. Is Herbie home? He went skating with Lester? Lester Pinckney? No. No message. Bye. Wow, Smokey seems kind of upset, huh? Herbie, like, is not home and, and, and he's ha hanging out with somebody else. Lester Pinckney. What's gonna happen? Let's find out. Boy, that Herbie is one big fink. That's a real friend. A real no good friend. That's what Herbie is. I mean, what good is Saturday if your best friend's not around? Lester Pinckney. Lester Pinckney just happens to be the clumbiest kid on the block. Lester Pinckney just happens to be the smartest kid in the class. I just don't happen to like Lester Pinckney. Uh, poor Smokey. I think he's a little bit jealous right now, huh? That his friend, his best friend, Herbie, is not with him. He's with Lester Pinckney on a Saturday. That's a weekend. That's the time to hang out and have a lot of fun. Uh-oh. I wonder what's happening. You think, you think maybe that, that Herbie's no longer, is no longer Smokey's best friend? Let's find out. It couldn't be because of what happened after school yesterday. Couldn't be. I mean, I only said, Herbie, you're asking to borrow the only thing I ever wanted in my whole life. My birthday present. It's not even scratched up yet. Ask me for anything else. Ask me for anything else but my new red high-rise banana bike. See that? That's the bike. An awesome bike. If you can get one for yourself, I recommend getting yourself a high-rise banana seat bike. Red, just like, just like Smokey. He didn't ask me. He just looked as I ran my hands over those neat silver handlebars. Then he said, so long, Smokey, and walked away. He didn't seem to be mad. We didn't have a fight or anything like that. All he said was, so long, Smokey. It's like saying, see you tomorrow. Only you don't have to say it. That is, if you're really good friends. He thought they were good friends, didn't he? I mean, they'd been good friends for a long time, Herbie and Smokey. But I guess not. Look, at even, even the, the son is crying about that. Oh, that's terrible. I'd give him anything else. Anything else but my new red banana bike. Just last Saturday, we were sitting around doing nothing special and I asked him what we should do. And Herbie said, eat. And I said, like what? And he said, something sweet and cold. Mm, what could be sweet and cold? I have an idea. When I want something sweet and cold, I get ice cream. Huh? I bet you it's ice cream, let's find out. So I got the dollar I had been saving and we went down to Charlie's. We sat down on the stools and ordered the biggest, gooeyest ice cream sundaes you ever saw. Oh, ice cream sundaes, yummy! Then Herbie said, okay, if I pay you tomorrow? And I said, my treat. You, Smokey Silver, he said, shaking my hand, are a great friend. Then I said, it's nothing, forget it. Well, he sure did. You think Herbie forgot about that? I bet you he didn't, I mean, that's, that's, that's really cool, right? I mean, if someone said, my treat and bought me a free ice cream, I would not forget that, would you? I bet you Herbie didn't forget that. Then how about the time he was going away with his family for the weekend? There was Herbie standing outside my front door that Friday night. Herbie with the gerbil, the dog, the food, the cage, the bed. He didn't have to ask, I knew. So I said, sure, I'll take care of them for you. What's a best friend for? I remember saying, Herbie, you forgot to bring over the top to the cage. You think that's important having a top to the cage? It might be important, to see. I remember Herbie saying, he'll never make it over the top. He can't climb. Well, he could, and he did. Would you believe I spent most of that Saturday tracking down the ger gerbil? Uh-oh, <laughs> where did that gerbil go? He's looking all over the place for him. Oh, he found him right there by the, the radiator, huh? Oh, goodness. That must have been a pain in the butt. Wasting a Saturday on a, hunting down a gerbil. And that dumb dog, that dumb homesick dog kept barking and shivering from loneliness, I guess. I had to sleep in the basement with him to keep him quiet. When Herbie came home, he said, I can never repay you. And I said, it was nothing, forget it. And he sure must have. Hanging out with Lester Pinkney, huh? Well, Smokey sure is upset about this, isn't he? 
poor Smokey, huh? He thinks Herbie forgot about him. Well, maybe he did. I don't know. Let's find out. I'll show him. I'll take all my old comic books and set up my own stand and sell them all by myself and I'll take the money and buy some new comic books and maybe some potato chips and soda. I'll get all the kids over and we'll have a party right here on my front stoop where Herbie can see us and will he be sorry? Oh, now he's going to try to make, make Herbie jealous, huh? Ah, oh, that's sad. But look at he's selling his comic books for, for two cents a piece. That's very cheap. Two cents for a comic book? You can't make much money that way. But this is an old book though, so I think two cents was a, long, was a lot of money back then. Maybe there's a ball game down at the park. Maybe I'll ump. Ump means umpire. It means you're going to say strike or ball or whatever you say. Maybe I'll catch. Maybe I'll hit a home run. Maybe Herbie will see me. Maybe he, Herbie usually plays shortstop. I never told him, but you know, he's a pretty rotten shortstop. I never told him because you know, to your best friend. But now... Butterfingers! Do you hear me, Herbie? Butterfingers! He called him Butterfingers. You know what Butterfingers means when you call someone that? It means that they... See, butter is, makes, is very greasy, very slippery. So if they're Butterfingers, the ball goes right through their hands, like, like grabbing the oil. So that means that he's, he can't catch. Do you think Herbie really is a Butterfingers? That's not nice to say that to somebody, huh? Poor Herbie. But poor Smokey, too. He's upset about Herbie going hanging out with Lester Pinkney. Hello, Smokey! Home from the dentist so soon? I look up. Herbie's mother. Dentist, I say? What dentist? Why, Herbie said you had a dental appointment this morning. Holy cow! I leave her standing there. I take off and I'm running like Niagara Falls right down to the bottom of the hill. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Smokey forgot about something, didn't he? He forgot he had a dental appointment that day. That's why Herbie was hanging out with Lester Pinkney. Not because he forgot about it, but because he knew that he had a dental, appo dental appointment. And he wasn't available Saturday, huh? But Smokey forgot all about it, huh? He forgot his own dental appointment. Uh-oh, that's trouble. Fifteen steps up. Ring the bell, ding dong, ding dong, and walk in. So I do, right over to the lady, in white, at the desk. She knows I'm late. Look at, she's, she's eyeballing him like, you're late, huh? Mmm, bad, bad. I wish you wouldn't say it. She nods her head. You're late, she says, pointing to the one empty seat. I forgot, I say. Would you believe it? She nods her head and points to the seat again. She never says much. She just nods and points. I sit and I wait. And I wonder if Herbie's home yet. See, now he knows that Herbie didn't forget him. And now he feels bad about it. If I could call him, I'd say, Herbie, Lester Pinkney is all right. I'd say, Herbie, you're a great shortstop. I'd say, you've got a great brain. You never forget anything. I'd say, Herbie, you can borrow my bike anytime you like. And for as long as you want it. And he'd say, you're great. And I'd say, there's nothing, forget it. Because that's what friends say to each other, right? They say, there's nothing, forget about it. Friends, friends are that way, right? Friends are always nice to each other. And look, at even on this book, they're ripping a the page apart to get to each other now. That's what what's going to happen now, because they're such good friends. And finally, what's the last thing that he says? I wonder if Herbie's home yet. And look, at the sun is smiling now. The sun is not crying anymore. The sun is happy because all is right in the world. Herbie and Smokey are best friends again. Although in Herbie's mind, they never were not best friends. Smokey just didn't know any better, huh? He thought they weren't best friends, but they were. Well, I wonder if Herbie's Home Yet is a fantastic book. As I said, my favorite book when I was a kid. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it. Maybe I'm the only one who liked it. I don't know, but I loved it. But all books are great. All books are awesome, as I always say. So read books. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful night. Have pleasant, amazing dreams. And as always, remember, the world is big. Explore it. Good night, everyone.